everyone. I know it's been a while, but here I am in my backyard doing the vlog. All right, um, questions. Uh, if I seem unusually mellow, it's because I am. I'm a little tired. I'm actually just about to start vacation. All right, what is, uh, this is from Becca. What is in Addison's Mysterious Green Juice? Have you ever actually tasted it? Actually, um, it's called, it's Naked Juice, or a var variation of Naked Juice, and I have tasted it. Well, it says, ta yeah, tasted it. Um, I drink it. When I drink it in the scenes, I'll have little sips. Um, it's really good. It's just a bunch of different, you know, it's like a green juice, like tons of different antioxidants and vegetables and fruits. And, you know. But um, I wanted to make it her thing. As uh, is Caddy, how long does it take you until you can memorize your lines? Do you forget the text after the shooting immediately, or can you still recite certain texts if you were uh, asked to? Um, I usually do my lines sort of right before I go, right before I shoot, like in the makeup trailer that morning, or right before as we're doing it. I don't know why, that's just, I think it's because I've been doing it so long. That's just sort of how I do it. It's not, like if I were doing a movie or a play, that's not how it works. But for this role for Addison, it seems like I can do it right before we go on. And then usually it goes right out of my brain. <laughs> um, Beth, who are your celebrity crushes? Rihanna. <laughs> oh, I love her. Um, Alexis, was there ever a moment where you questioned yourself on becoming an actress? Yes, all the time. I questioned myself all the time. I was waiting tables and um, having to work two and three different jobs and not working and feeling like, and not getting auditions or getting auditions and not getting the part. So I think I questioned a lot, but I just kept doing it because it's what I love doing. And, and I got really lucky, I guess. Um, May, which songs do you like to listen to when you exercise? Usually I'm not listening to music when I exercise because I'm doing Pilates and there's no music there. And um, and then if I'm hiking, I'm, I'm like just out in the park with my dogs and I'm usually with somebody else, so we're just talking. Um, but if I were to, like if I ever get on a treadmill, which is very rarely, uh, Madonna, probably still. Madonna. Um, who else? Yeah, probably that. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, Cara, what did you find most challenging in the character you played in The Perks of Being a Wallflower? Um, most challenging. I had such a good time doing it. Uh, I think the most challenging part of it was probably... <laughs> I don't know what was the most challenging. I mean, I think it was... Sort of to keep the tone and ride the, the balance between the, the, the tone of the film and make sure. But that was, I mean, Stephen Chbosky, who wrote and directed, was so amazing. And everybody was so great to work with. Um, so I think it was sort of just with the tone for me of being like a loving mother that's concerned about her son, but not overdoing it or being too, you know, I don't know. I loved it. I had such a great time. It was sort of a really comfortable, new, wonderful role to me. And uh, sort of finding that balance of being a concerned parent, but also a parent. And like, so it was just sort of, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. Taylor, how do you deal with the passing of a beloved pet? Oh, dude, don't even talk to me about that. I don't want to know. I don't want to think about it because I've got a dog who's 12. And every time I leave the house, I say to Lucy, live, live. Um, it's really hard. I think it's awful. I lost so many pets, but I lost two cats. One, the last one I lost to a coyote was years ago, so that's why my cats have these really, really archaic looking little collars on, so they can stay around outside. There's Invisifence, and they can enjoy my yard and not get eaten by coyotes. Um, but it's very, very hard, and I think, honestly, after you grieve it, you need to get another pet, because pets are important. And I think um, you just got to kind of get another one. I, my mother told me that, and I was like, you're crazy, I have to, and now I believe her, like, you just have to get another animal right away. They will never replace the other ones, but they just, you just need that source of unconditional love, I think. I do. Uh, Anna, did anyone tell you the boyfriend line wasn't a good idea? Anything you want to tell them now? I love that. Anything you want to tell them now? Face! No, I, no one was like, I don't think so. I mean, I think when I get obsessed with something and I want to do it, I do it. Um, like a dog with a bone, I just won't, um, I won't let it go. 
So, and I didn't even really want it. I was like, wait a minute, I'm too busy. I'm working the full time on my television show. How am I going to do this? But I just, the idea wouldn't leave me alone. And so I just sort of decided to do it and created it. But I think that's just the, the bigger lesson is like if you create what you want to have in your life rather than waiting for someone to tell you that's a good idea or you can do that or you can't do that. You just say, I'm going to do it. And like, you know, and you get en enough people around you that want to do it with you and then you make it happen. So um, it's awesome. I'm super thrilled and I'm hoping that it, you know, continues to uh, be successful and people continue to love it. And yeah.